Jake, welcome to Bradford City, initial three-year contract signed. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, buzzing. I mean, just looking around and, and getting a feel for the place, it's it's special. Uh, obviously played here before and, and when the fans fans get going, it's an unbelievable place. It's you can It just feels like football and it's a great place to be. You're a local lad. Does it feel a little bit like, in ways, coming home and coming back to, to where you're destined to be? In a way? Yeah, around the area, know the area. It feels good to be back home, um, getting back up north. Um, yeah, back locally and yeah, couldn't be happier. As you've mentioned, played here on a couple of occasions before, scored here twice as well. You've got decent memories, I guess, from this ground so far. Yeah, um, scored a couple against, hopefully score a few more for. Um, get, the, uh, get the fans on my side now. <laughs> Looking forward to it. What have you taken from those experiences so far, playing here before in front of decent sized crowds, obviously scoring a couple of goals and obviously last year as well behind closed doors, I guess there's quite a bit for you to take already. Yeah definitely, I think from my experiences here and, and a few other grounds I, I relish playing in front of big big, big crowds, um, enjoy the challenge and the opportunity so I think having that, what they call the 12th man behind you, is half the problems uh, year round it anyway so getting behind, get get. Um, get this place bouncing and we'll uh, make something special happen. Still only 20 years old, still fairly young, but would you say already quite a bit of experience crew, particularly at this level and, and being around a little bit? Yeah, I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity at Forest Green when I was I think, 18, um, been there a couple of years and got quite a lot of appearances for my age, um, played a lot of games and, and seen a lot of things, I've been in the playoffs, won the league, so for my age I like to think I've got a fair bit of experience and I just want to add to it here. And as you mentioned, two have already had the experience of getting promoted and being at the top end fighting for promotion with Forest Green. How much experience, how much valuable sort of pastime does that give you in terms of coming here and being a part of a team that wants to challenge? Yeah, like I said, um, I'm only young, but those those things I've, I've done this last couple of years, um, hopefully I can bring some of that here and, and take this club back to where it belongs. How would you describe yourself as a player? We know you're a, a sort of forward thinking attacker. Yeah, um, I'd say I. I'll get the fans off the seats, I like to make things happen, I'll take risks and, and kind of make, make a bit of magic out of nothing and, and hopefully I can do that, yeah. Speak a little bit about the manager, Mark Hughes, obviously a huge name in football, I guess he played quite a big part in you coming here. Yeah, definitely, I came came last week to have a meeting with the gaffer and, and stuff um, and you just get a great feel of, of where the club's going. Um, obviously he's without a doubt a big name and, and that does play a part, hopefully I can learn things off him. Um, and I'm looking forward to working with them every day, yeah. I guess they say a lot about young players, about how hungry they are, but I guess given what you've already achieved in your career, having got promoted, it's a case of you wanting to kick on and wanting more of the same of what you've already enjoyed in your career. Yeah, I mean, I was hungry. I'm even hungry now uh, experiencing what I've, what I've had and I just want more feelings like that. Final message for those Bradford City supporters, be looking forward to seeing you in pre-season and next season for the next three years and beyond. Yeah, let's get behind the boys, make something special happen next year and uh, get this club back where it belongs.